people welcome back to another fabulous beauty video in this video I am going to try on the new Chanel 2022 holiday collection all the makeup that Chanel released for this holiday season and it also includes uh, some nail polishes which I absolutely love so I have a full face of Chanel makeup. It's, I, I, I'm testing out the entire holiday collection, Chanel uh, holiday collection, but also I'm gonna use every product that I'm gonna use on my face will be Chanel as well. So this is also a full face of Chanel makeup. So if you want to hear my thoughts on the new Chanel holiday collection, just continue to watch. So like I said, you guys, I have the basically a piece from every category of this uh, Chanel holiday collection. I bought the the uh, the highlighters. I have the highlighter right here. I have the eye gloss. I have the eye quad. I got all three nail polishes from the collection. I got two lip colors also. Uh, one of the Rouge Allure L'Extrait and then I got the Rouge Allure Lac color as well. So I have you know the whole thing and um, at least one from everything the only things i didn't get was the one of the highlighters that was too dark for me and then one of each lip colors but i got the other lip color from both finishes so those are the only sm small things i didn't get but everything else from the collection i bought and and of course i bought this right here this is also part of the kind of was released with the holiday collection. This is Coco Mademoiselle um, body body gel basically with the beautiful uh, shimmer. I'm gonna test this out with you guys as well. So I've brought you guys as close as I can bring you. Um, I have a ton of Chanel makeup right here including the holiday collection. I'm gonna be doing basically a full face of Chanel makeup as I said. I have my Chanel Outre foundation on. I'm in the shade. I'll put my shade down in the description box. This is more of a satin matte finish. I have probably talked about this before or demonstrated it on my channel. I didn't want to take the time showing you how uh, it applies. It applies really well with a sponge or brush. So this is the finish of it. I just wanted to show it to you before I started putting anything else on my face. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Chanel um, concealer on. This is the, you know, like the one and only con uh, concealer Chanel has. I actually have this in this shade, which I will put down in the description box. And also like the peachy color corrector shade, which I have underneath. So I have the foundation on and the peachy color corrector underneath. It's like a, like a dark peach kind of color. Um, underneath so this is a very creamy full coverage concealer but it does not um, does not crease I feel like I should have gotten this in a maybe like a little bit lighter color I feel like uh, this is maybe not like light enough I've, I don't know you know what it, it it'll it'll get the job done I need to go for one lighter color actually one shade lighter than this so I'm gonna blend this out I'm not gonna take too long um, doing the base because the focus of this video is the Chanel holiday collection but I wanted to show you guys a full face of Chanel at the same time with all the Chanel products that I hauled so there you have it that's a pretty good job now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my Chanel powder I ordered the Le Beige powder you guys and they sent me the wrong shade so I'm now waiting for my correct shade to arrive. So until then, I'm gonna have to use this one. This is the Universal Powder, um, the Loose Powder. I mean, since I'm doing like a full face of Chanel, I'm not gonna use like a brightening powder or anything under my eyes. Just so you guys have a full face of Chanel, you can see. So now I'm going to use the Chanel Cream Bronzer right here. This comes in like three shades. So this is a really good cream bronzer, as you can see. It's very quite uh, emollient, you know. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face, kind of like a brown tour. Oh, 
All right, so that's after the cream bronzer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and powder my entire face with the same universal powder. And then I'm gonna go in with the um, powder bronzer. Then I have the Chanel Le Beige Oversized Powder Bronzer. Again, I'm in the medium shade in this one. I'll link all this stuff down in the description uh, box for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of do a little bron bronzing action here like that just lightly not too much uh, there you go perfect I'm gonna take the powder brush and kind of blend it a bit just sort of buff it into the skin I should have put a hairband on you guys the base of the face is done now we're ready to test out the Holiday collection. So let me start with the eye quad. So, so this is the packaging it comes in. Um, I it, there's only one eye quad in this collection. It is 937 Ombre de Lune. So this is like the like a lunar collection. This holiday collection has been inspired by you know uh, the moon. So this is what it looks like. I took the sleeve out. So let me take this protective cover off and here it is. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, there's that little um, Chanel logo embossed and a little bit of a, like a, a, a Chanel perfume embossed in uh, two of the shadows, as you can probably see. By the way, these are gonna be gone immediately now when I dip my brush into it. The, the design doesn't keep if you're if you're curious the design doesn't stay so I'm gonna take a synthetic blending brush and I'm going to go into the shade right here this one right here and I'm gonna blend it into the crease guys can you guys see the color it's a good color payoff it's uh, a bit of it there's a slight sheen to this satin sort of finish eyeshadow here which is nice so I'm just gonna basically go ahead and put it in my in my crease right above my crease actually so and I'm gonna take a dense packing brush like this and I'm gonna go into the darker chocolate coffee looking color there yeah the embossing this is coming right off as I take the color as I dip my brush into this so I'm gonna put that in the outer V outer corner as we say just this is not I wouldn't say this is like super uh, duper high pigmented but it's like really like user friendly like this is a quad the Chanel formula is very very user friendly I should say for people who are new to makeup or aren't experts or not even like people who you know wear makeup all the time every now and then you know can try their formula because it's very very user friendly it's it, you can't like overdo it too much at all it's not too highly pigmented to the point that you can correct a mistake so I'm gonna put a lot of it right in the outer corner to really kind of darken it because when the gloss goes over uh, I want this to show underneath the outline of it, you know, the definition. I need definition underneath the gloss. I really want a lot of color under the gloss so it'll show even through the gloss. And I'm going to take my Blender Pro by Sonia G. And then I'm going to go into this beautiful golden shade right there that I have been dying to use that has that gorgeous perfume embossing which is coming off as I as I dip into it it's actually I mean it's quite a, quite the color payoff there but it's not like high shine or that gorgeous shimmery top coat look that the Tom Ford ones have or anything like that. You guys know my favorite formula is the Tom Ford formula, but this is beautiful too. This is actually really good for like more formal kind of occasions. 
like for if you have a, like some function for work you know or like you're seeing relatives uh, for the first time of you meeting your boyfriend's parents and you know like this is a really good formula Chanel formula for like very sophisticated sort of formal look this is coming out really beautifully actually I love the the golden shade uh, is actually almost deeper than what it looks like in the pan on the eyelid I feel like I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna go into this color that I haven't used yet I want to take that and I'm gonna use that to sort of fuse the outer corner color in with the beautiful golden shade if that makes sense kind of right in the border I'm gonna blend them together like this a little bit I wish there was a more brightening color to put on the inner corners or to even do like a brow bone highlight I'm gonna have to use the actual highlighter to, to get that done so now I'm going to go underneath to the lower lash line. I'm going to take a, a definer brush like this and then go into the dark shade and put it right under, like right on the lash line tightly. Then I'm going to take a uh, pencil brush, go into the, that shade that I used to fuse the colors together and I'll go with that and then blend that down like that so now for the part that I have been waiting for sort of dying for so yeah this squad is good you guys um, it's not groundbreaking so now here is the uh, limited edition gel gloss for multi surfaces it says you can use this on your eyelids or you can use it on your cheeks I don't know anywhere you want so this is what it looks like let me take the protective cover off brushes here so this is actually I remember now um, so this is meant for you know you can even use it on your brow as a brow gel supposedly I only want to use this on my eyelids I don't want to use it anywhere else so I'm gonna take it on a thing on my fingertip look at this look how glossy that looks I mean look at the shine of that you see that that's really shiny right there and I'm gonna put it right on top of that golden shade right in the middle Here you go. to see if it gives me like this wet look that I'm looking for does it give me that wet look wet look I would say it's a fail you guys because I feel like it just basically muddied my eye look so yeah these eye glosses I wouldn't say you can put them on top of your eyeshadow just on your bare naked eyelid I have to do this redo this eye now um, yeah it, it got it got muddy um, yeah I thought it would be that one of those eyeglasses where it just goes on top and it just kind of shines and gives you like this you know wet look um, like the the glossy eye look no this one is I would say not something you would want to put on top of your eyeshadow so I have to take this off redo the eye and I'll be right back okay so I'm back I redid my eye yeah that was a fail I'm gonna try to use that on my eyebrows but you know what I don't know about that actually think speaking of which I need to go do my eyebrows off camera because I don't have a Chanel product for my eyebrows I'm just gonna go ahead and use my precisely my brow pencil and get my eyebrows done I'll be right back so I have a Chanel blush right here this is not part of the holiday collection for 2022 holiday collection but this is in the shade, I'll put it down in the, I think it's in love. Um, I'm going to go ahead and blush up. I'll finish my eyes here in a second. I'll tell you why I'm taking, I'm not finishing it right now. I'm, I'll wait for highlighter to finish my eyes. So go ahead and put my blush on. Can't go wrong with, like you can't overdo Chanel blushes because again, they're very like beginner friendly 
you know, user friendly. They're not like too, too crazy pigmented where you can like really overdo blush. Okay, so now for the holiday collection pieces, more of it. This is Ikla Lunier um, Chanel highlighters from this lunar collection, this uh, this holiday collection 2022. This whole collection I believe is limited edition. This highlighter especially. I think this shade is Oros, but I, there are two highlighters in this collection and one is way too dark for me. I think it's way too dark for a lot of people unless your skin is, you have a very deep skin, uh, skin tone, then that highlighter is perfect for you but that one is too dark for me so I got the the lighter shade right here let me show it to you it's a it's an oversized highlighter my finger marks everywhere so this is what it looks like it's a big oversized pan and here it is I take the protective cover off so there it is even this one is actually on the darker side in a way it's leaning bronzy too even the lighter of the two shades um, the darker one is very dark, very dark. I, I think only like the deeper skin tones will be able to wear that one as a highlighter. If you are anything uh, lighter than that, then you have to use that as a uh, eyeshadow, but this is a very big eyeshadow. You'll never go through this, so it's kind of a waste if you have a lighter skin tone than deep. I almost don't want to disturb this beautiful embossing of the gorgeous, uh, is it Chanel number no. 5? I think this is Chanel number no. 5 that's embossed. So this collection for some reason has Chanel number no. 5 embossed on everything. So let me put it on and show you. Chanel highlighters are the best, you guys. They are the best highlighters ever. So the reason why I waited to finish my eyes is because I wanted to highlight my brow bone with this highlighter. And then I need to get the inner corner too here in a second. But let me show you. This highlighter is not beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Chanel highlighters. My favorite, you guys, is right here. I'm not going to wear it today. This is the Chanel highlighter in the shade Ivory Gold. This one is just so pretty. This is like the perfect kind of champagne-y ivory color that, that is gorgeous. I love uh, this kind of design, by the way. This doesn't have the same design. There's no half moon brush for this. I don't know why. So this is my usual formula that, uh, of Chanel highlighters that I really, really love. This one has this sort of beautiful champagne gold sort of ivory shade. Let me kind of swatch it on the back of my hand and I'll show it to you. So it's this beautiful like ethereal highlighter. I've been wearing it a lot in my on my videos you guys so you've probably seen this. I'm going to put a little bit right on the tip of my nose which is not advisable. Um, makeup artists usually don't recommend but you know what you guys that's really a nice. I really like highlighting the tip of my nose. There you go. So now I, ha I am able to finish my eye look. I'm going to go ahead and take pick up a little bit of the highlighter and I'm going to go put it right under my brow bone to highlight my brow bone a little bit more like that and then now I'm going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eye to highlight my inner corner since there was no lighter color in the quad to get this job done I'm going to use the highlighter for it and put it on the lower lash line a little bit as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish my eye look by um, using my Natasha Denona liquid liner to do my liquid liner. Um, I don't have the Chanel one. I should actually get one and see. I have a lot of Chanel makeup except for eyebrow, eyebrow, um, eyebrow products and then the eyeliner. All right, I'm back with my liquid liner on. Gorgeous, now the eye look is really coming together. Now I'm gonna use the Chanel mascara, the La Volume mascara, which is not part of the holiday collection, but I'm gonna use that to do my eyelashes. By the way, you guys, I love the La Volume mascara. 
I mean, look at that. It looks like I'm wearing false lashes. It's It volumizes for sure and lengthens a little bit too, but gives so much volume. It looks like I'm wearing false lashes. Look at that. I'm not wearing false lashes. This is my natural lashes. Um, granted, I have good lashes, but you know, still. Okay, so that's the, the highlighter. So that is how it performs. It's a bit of on the darker side, This both of these highlighters. I feel like I can pull this one off, the lighter one, but I feel like this might be Actually, even the lighter shade of the two might be a little too dark for people fairer than me, you know, uh, especially people with super light skin tones. Uh, in this collection, Chanel collection, uh, this holiday collection, both highlighters may be a little too dark. I hold three lip liners. I have two others in my, my drawer, my makeup, my lip liner drawer, and these are three that I recently hauled. And out of the three, I think I'm going to use the darker red one which is i'll put the shade down in the description box i think it's 174 rouge so this is what it looks like i'm going i love chanel lip liners by the way you guys they are super high quality they are creamy but not too creamy they don't break off they don't tug on your lip they last for a long time it's everything you want in a lip liner So there are two uh, lip colors that I got from the holiday collection. There are two Rouge Allure Lastre um, shades and then there's two Lac, Rouge Allure Lac shades. I got one of each. Let me show you the, um, not the Lac, but the other one first. So this is what I'm going to put on right now. And then I'll put on the Lac shade as well. So it goes like this. It has a little... Thing you push on the bottom like bottom like that and it comes out so this is what the bullet looks like haven't put this on myself at all I'll show you um, swatches here um, on the screen mmm that's a gorgeous color you guys ooh the lip liner is perfect for it it's a bright kind of red Mm, I love the be beautiful sort of high shine finish. So that's what it looks like. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off and put the lac on for you guys to see. I should probably go with a darker lip liner, but you know what? I'm just going to... Since it's a lac, you know, it's kind of like a paint, you know what I mean? It'll work. So this has got a beautiful, nice ombre um, design there. So this is what it looks like. I got the, I believe I got the darker of the two lac shades. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is beautiful, you guys. Do you see that? Ooh. Oh, wow. I'm going to actually go ahead and use this eyeliner. I only have the green one um, eyeliner. So I'm actually going to, you know, because I'm wearing something that it would work with, very well with. I'm going to line my... So that's it for the makeup from the Chanel Holiday 2022 collection. Uh, now I'm going to show you my nail polishes. I'll pull you back and then also give you my overall thoughts on the entire collection and I'll talk about each item as well. So you guys, I have three nail polishes here, all three of them the, uh, that came with the Chanel Holiday 2022 collection. I got all three of them. They are the 347 Etoile. Um, there are 347 at 12 and then 365 Claire de Lune 
and 963 Super Loon. So I have all three of them and I'll show you they're gorgeous. So here is the Etoile. This is a top coat. I don't know if you can see very well. It's a beautiful shimmering top coat that you can put on top of, you know, colors that go with it or you can wear it as it is, which gives you a beautiful, like, beautiful sheen. I'll try to put a picture of, of it up here. Um, and then we have here the Claire de Lune, which is this absolutely beautiful kind of like army green sort of uh, chateaus um, mixed with army green kind of gorgeous color. I love this one as well. So that is the second one. And the third one is a, a beautiful kind of dark maroonish red. This is Super Loon. And here it is. It's, you know, like the typical Chanel gel kind of finish, uh, polish finish. I absolutely love, 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 love uh, this shade as well. I have so many Chanel lip, um, nail polishes. They last forever. They're not even gel polishes but they don't chip they last forever they don't chip until you remove them so I'm gonna open this up to you guys and show you the body um, oil the body gel I mean of the coconut Moselle as well uh, isn't this stunning oh my god this smells by the way exactly like the coconut Moselle or, or the Parfum Entense whichever I mean they both smell very similar I, you guys saw, I bought the other body gel, the body shimmer, with the, that was released with the last collection in Hawaii, actually. So let me show you what this is. So there's, you know, what's really weird to me, that there's no stop here with a little hole. I mean, it's not crazy. Chanel being so, like, luxury type of, you know, company, and they didn't put a stop. You know, that's kind of weird to me. Um, okay, so here it is. So there's a sl oh, you guys, this smells just like the Coco Mademoiselle. It smells exactly like that. It smells pretty luxurious, actually. There's a kind of a undertone of a skincare hint there as well. And this has a slight, very unnoticeable shimmer. I will try to put a um, close-up here, uh, if you can't see it on the camera here. There's a slight, very subtle very subtle, tiny, tiny specks of subtle glimmer in there that looks actually really beautiful, catches the light and everything. Smells just like basically uh, Chanel Coque Mademoiselle. So that is the Coque Mademoiselle body gel. You guys, um, I have a ton of Chanel makeup. Like, I have a whole bag right here. Uh, I hauled a lot of Chanel makeup, so I'm probably going to do like a collective haul or something that includes all of my Chanel purchases. Let me know down in the comment section if you want to see that. If you want to see like my Chanel makeup haul, I have like a ton of it here. I would like to share with you. So to recap, the Chanel Holiday 2022 collection has two very large um, size highlighters one really dark deep shade one kind of medium to deep shade highlighter which is what I have right here so here's the one I got this is um, I'll put the shade of this down below this is kind of like you know rose gold bronzy kind of deal uh, going on this is actually you know just just right for my skin tone I don't know if in lighter skin tones than mine, especially much fairer. Not sure if even the medium's gonna work out that well. And then the only eyeshadow quad that came in this collection is right here. This is the 9337 Ombre de Lune. So this one is a gold brown kind of color story. Um, I would say this is the typical Chanel uh, formula and it's very much a wearable quad for every day even formal you know office kind of occasions you know that's the thing about chanel it's very kind of sophisticated uh, i wouldn't say it's like the same 
level as Tom Ford but at the same time there's something to say about the Chanel formula that's really good uh, gives you like a very sophisticated finish this color story is it something I haven't seen before no this is a kind of a common color story but for holidays though common color stories really are what what works um, so yeah like the quad I like the highlighter I love the Chanel highlighter formula I told you guys showed you guys my favorite one the um, ivory one that I really love this one right here the uh, the gloss I am not sure how I feel about this one this was not quite what I was expecting. I was hoping this gloss would be like an eye gloss that could go over, you know, that type of type of eye look where you you put eyeshadows and then you put this coat of gloss on top so it's like very wet looking, very editorial, very like uh, sultry kind of nighttime kind of look, you know, even daytime actually. That's what I was hoping this would be, but it's not. And it doesn't quite work on the eyebrows either because it, uh, because of that tint in there. I'm not really sure if I want sort of like wet looking, greasy, you know, goldy, um, tinted brows. You know what I mean? So this is kind of a, a no for me. That's the only one that didn't work out in the entire collection, the pieces that I bought. Of course, I bought the two lip products here. This one, the Rouge Allure Les um right here. This one is a beautiful kind of hot red color, um, which, you know, I showed you the color. I, I like it. The formula is beautiful. There's a sheen to it. Um, really, really pretty. I thought very beautiful. like that one for sure. And then there's the, the Rouge Allure Lac which I'm wearing, which is beautiful. This is, by the way, I had to stop the video and I had to go to uh, see Nutcracker with my family. I had to change clothes and everything. And it stayed through, we ate, we drank and everything and I haven't even refreshed it. It's really, really nice. Stays on, it's not uncomfortable, it's not drying, it doesn't get cracky, it doesn't crack. So really good formula, love this color. There's also like a uh, kind of a rosy color, which I didn't get, but I'm really happy I got the dark version. I will put all the shade numbers and names down in the description box. Please go down there to check it out. And then when it comes to these nail polishes, you guys saw I sh showed you all four, all three of them absolutely stunning i will try to put pictures of them in this video if you follow me on instagram you will see pictures of my uh my fingers with these polishes on so you know keep an eye out for for that on instagram in fact i will put the whole collection on instagram this is why you should follow me on instagram so that's it um of all the uh chanel makeup i use today these are this is this is the holiday collection absolutely beautiful that's it you guys let me know your thoughts down in the comment section have you bought any pieces from this holiday collection from chanel makeup let me know your thoughts down below do you have the whole collection please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it really helps me out to grow my community that's like the one way you can help me out and also by commenting and sharing your thoughts liking this video all that stuff and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and now TikTok. I will see you guys in my next video.